robbed again, man. Bloody hell. It never ends with fold, innit? They're always going through something. Um, what you call it? Op totally offering my support to them in the over the e-waves, over the interwebs. Hoping those guys are holding strong and holding firm because they're going to be... They're in one hell of a dogfight when it comes to keeping the license open. As I'm sure you guys are aware, Fold's been going through a protracted um, license dispute with the local council. It being can it being so new on local council due to a pending charge against two of the people involved in Fold uh, regarding the equipment that was bought there. The charges alleged that the equipment that was bought, I think up to two hundred thousand of it, was bought with illicit funds that came through money laundering or something on those kind of lines. Um, Fold completely denies any wrongdoing and is vehemently fighting against it. But one of the founders of Fold, who was charged for the um, crime, has now been ordered to completely stay away from Fold. No involvement with it whatsoever until they kind of run the run the actual course of the investigation. So it's all up in the air. But we got some good news previously that they were going to remain open pending the appeal. But now the license has been fully revoked. But you know, with the protracted state, with with how things work in terms of licensing agreements, they can still appeal it now. So they've kind of put out another statement again regarding the whole situation. That I'm going to put up here on screen. This is from Fold. It says the following. This is actually a picture, I think, from the back of the DJ booth, I'm pretty sure. Or the front of the DJ booth, sorry. The front where people near stand next to the front, I'm pretty sure, into stage. But this was uploaded about four hours ago. And this is the following. Um, unfortunately, at yesterday's hearing, we had our license revoked, meaning that Fold remains under threat. Whilst this is hugely frustrating, we can and will stay open whilst we appeal this decision, which is awesome because if you are like myself and you're looking forward to going to the Innovisions London Label Night next week on the 14th, is it the 14th? I'm pretty sure it's the 14th. Is it the 14th? Next week, the 14th. Yes, the 14th. Then I'm sure you guys will be happy about that. And for anyone also going to the 24 hours, 24 7 party with Resident Advisor this weekend, you're also going to be happy about that news as well. Um, so this weekend and for the foreseeable future, it will be business as usual. All the support we have received throughout is this difficult period, not only from our community, but from the diverse members of the creative world, will not go in vain. Once we continue to fight our corner, we are confident that our appeal will be successful and to continue to defend ourselves. We are standing strong in the face of the continued adversity and are confident that the police and the licensing will continue, will conclude that we have not acted in an improperty, impropriety. Sorry. In one year, we have built a hub, a home and a united so many different people from so many different backgrounds. We will not let that go. When we will, when, when we open the doors this weekend, we look forward to seeing all our fold family on the dance floor. Yeah, man. I'm really bummed out about it. I hope they get it. I hope they get it sorted out. As I mentioned to a few people before or on this podcast beforehand, Fold is the best nightclub in London, hands down. I don't think anyone else can deny that or contest against it. I think the fact that they were able to come in and basically provide everything that we've been missing in terms of club culture when it comes to the community side of things. I think the, the programming has improved over the last couple of months. I feel like they've kind of definitely hit their groove. They've got a lot of residents playing there now. They've got a lot of friends and family doing label nights. They're not trying to get the kind of, you know, the big blockbuster names to kind of fill the space. And I think the ref family and friends are doing a good job of basically promoting it, which is helping because I think they had a bit of a weird period after the first party where they were kind of trying to get the big names to kind of fill the, the venue, but it wasn't quite working. And the friends and family didn't know too of it, didn't really know of it too well. But now they sort of hit their groove. And I guess in my experience, I've kind of seen that it's kind of got bigger just through word of mouth. Obviously, videos like mine can help, but people just proselytizing about it over social media has helped. But it's it goes to show just how much of a gap, just how much of a gap there was in the market for a place like Fold, um, a place where people who are interested in dance music, interested in electronic music can go and sort of like, you know, um, whittle down the, you know, kind of waste the day away or night away. Uh, dancing to amazing music set by amazing DJs in a completely safe space. And if you're familiar with any of the club kids that go there, you'll know that it probably is the only place in London, maybe apart from Cause and a few other places that are able to embrace, um, you know, the freaks and the geeks of the industry that make it so special. So we're hoping that this appeal goes through well and they're able to succeed. I have the strong feeling that it will, and I have the strong feeling if it doesn't, that all the good work they've done now on the scene, someone will come forward and probably propose them an idea of maybe co-partnering in a space or acting as a front, as a face for us, for a venue that is un unoccupied at the moment. I have a feeling of it. Same with the course. I think the course are the same sort of thing. I think the people that were, I think even the, they mentioned it previously, in it? another article that one of their neighbours 
found their, you know, one of their recent spots that they're now playing another lease on. So I think with Fold, all this goodwill they've got out there, I think someone will recognise it and see how much, how important it is to the local community and will probably offer them a solution. But I'm hoping this original site, the one that I went to for the first party, the one that's in the heart of Canning Town, again, for me, it's a, it all comes full circle. I'm from Canning Town. My mum still lives there now. I see her mostly every other weekend to have a nightclub like Fold in the area that I grew up in an area that you know for the most part when i was growing up in had no sort of like electronic dance music scene at all um is great to see and also to see the kind of abundance of people um like i said all the weirdos hanging around shafford and making i mean hanging around canton and making it interesting has uh made that whole area just like you know get a new lease of life so i really hope they hang around I really hope the appeal is successful and for anyone that's supporting fold or anyone that's a fan of fold who hasn't been there yet definitely check out the resident advisor night that's happening i think this weekend at uh, fold and obviously the individual label night which i'm sure the tickets are sold out on but i'm pretty sure you can probably get them at the places like ticket tannoy and other little resale places but definitely go to fold this weekend for the resident advisor night support those guys and girls give them your love uh buy some drinks at the bar put your stuff in the locker room and just generally be there in it for the stuff that they do where's the event i'm pretty sure it's this weekend the london 24 7 thing let me see if i can find it for you guys oh it's actually on, okay it's on a saturday actually it's on the 7th that's the same day as the, the boxing so definitely go and check those out this is a night coming up for this weekend resident advisor 24 7 london it's there tickets are still available now the description of it is for the first for the first ever London edition of our 24-7 party series, we brought together a lineup that's a love and letter to the UK Rave and London club culture. Come down to fall to take part in a 24-hour multifaceted event across the venues never before seen spaces. You can sit in on the panel discussions, broaden your knowledge and workshops, stumble upon secret raves and much more. Get stuck in. So definitely check those out. Um, it'd be great to see, man. All the support and love to them and you know, as they go down this fight, because I'm pretty sure it's not the most entertaining thing in the world, going to local council meetings and trying to fight your case, trying to, you know, convince, you know, general public why you should, why they should allow a nightclub that's on the other side of the train tracks from, you know, residential area to stay open until 6am. It probably isn't the most easiest job to do, but I'm sure the local council will be understanding of their, of the kind of value they've brought to the area. And I'm pretty sure the local businesses too will be able to vouch for them too. I'm sure places like McDonald's and even the off-license around the corner, the 24-7 one, has probably seen an uptake in people coming in and some money at the at the tills ultimately. So hopefully we see that going forward. Fingers crossed for everyone involved there. And again, um, just offer them your support, man. Go and support those guys. Buy tickets. Go to the rave. Get some drinks. Hang out there. Go to a smoking area. Buy a cigarette or two. You know what I mean? And just hang out with those guys and girls.